thought I might start from this angle. So it just so happens that LG is sticking to the dual screen with the V60. And although it's a completely new smartphone, this means we'll be doing a lot of this and that. And up until now, the dual screen was and still relatively is a new concept for many folks. So before its upcoming release in June, I thought I'd show you the best apps and use cases for LG's dual screen. Let's begin. Now the V60 is still yet to be released, but its dual screen is most likely to offer the same experience as its forerunner. The case form factor remains the same, and the only difference seems to be in the screen size. So you can expect roughly the same deal as you would find in this video. Now I'll be breaking this all down into mainly two sections. One would be my current best experiences with LG's dual screen, and two, my future wish list. Starting off the apps. Now, it may look like there's absolutely no third-party app support for the dual screen, and you're mostly right, but games that do work with physical controllers can all take advantage of LG's GamePad software. Now, I didn't find them to drastically improve my gaming experience, particularly for the FPS titles, I just prefer the on-screen controllers, but they are there, and with some tinkering, they do work as intended. And for those of you that don't know, the dual screen can be used to instantly view photos as you take the picture, and Chrome is the only app that supports wide view. Now, my wish list for the apps department would be supporting all apps, but that's not going to happen. But since they got Chrome working on it, it would be great to see at least the Google apps like Maps and YouTube to run wide mode as well. Actually quite surprised they haven't done that. As for use cases, the dual screen shined in multitasking. No surprise there. To put it to perspective, it's basically like having a second monitor for your PC, but on your smartphone. My major complaint with Android 10's native multi-window was that it didn't allow the resizing of each app. So say you were watching a YouTube video while messaging someone at the same time. There would be these huge letterboxes that took up valuable screen real estate. Well, in the case of the dual screen, you have room to spare. Being able to prop the phone up like a kickstand is sort of a plus too. But as far as utility goes, it pretty much stops there. As for my wish list, well, according to LG, just 30% of the V50 users chose to keep the dual screen on constantly, while the rest, including myself, would just prefer to use it only in certain events. Since this is the case, the idea of including an extra battery beneath the secondary display doesn't seem half bad. This would even out the two shells when opened on a flat desk. And let's face it, the phone needs the extra juice. Or another idea would be to change the hinge mechanism entirely. Remember the first generation of Windows 10 convertible laptops? Well, I think LG could really take a cue from the OGs here. The 360 degree folding mechanism just doesn't seem that efficient for a smartphone. The clamshell design is not friendly to screen protectors, and when closed, there is just a small display for the basic notifications. So a secondary display that swirls or even slides to form the outer display could really change the user experience. Also, a narrower hinge like the one found on Microsoft's Surface Duo could make the wide view at least usable. Now, these are just my humble ideas, and I understand that LG has their own reasons behind the dual screen strategy. And honestly, I'm not complaining. I think LG is providing a great smartphone with their own unique experience at a reasonable price to boot. Later on, LG might need to up their game, especially if the foldable smartphones become mainstream. But at the current moment, I think the V50 and V60 will hold their value just fine. That's it for today's topic, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, pressing the subscribe button would be hugely appreciated. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.